it's not often that we have to go back to a country on this channel to bring you an update video and that's what we did here on the top golf courses we're not bringing you the top 10 here we're going to bring you those top 20 golf courses throughout the almost 200 golf courses in the country of india now there's a lot of golf so let's get started but before you do if you haven't seen any of our videos take a look at our channel we're hitting all the countries but most importantly we're swinging in and hitting a lot of golf balls along the way so let's take a look now at our 20th golf course but yet the oldest golf course in india that is being built in 1850. the course had some updates by peter tomlinson in 1967 but for the most part it's a nine hole golf course and stay true to those nine hole that they have it's a it's a semi-private golf course as it's listed with a par 34 the course only stretches 2645 yards with a slope of 133 and a rating of 26.5 now it's a bucket list golf course on anyone's radar but for this list it made our top 20 so let's go back and see a couple more aerial footage of that golf course as you can see there's only nine holes here but for the most part because of its rich history and being the oldest on this list we had to show our respect and put it on at number 20. now that does swing us in to our number 19th golf course for this wonderful country with beautiful golf so let's zoom on in to the Golden Greens Golf Course Club where there's an incredible 18-hole golf course. And you'll be seeing a lot more of these 18-hole courses because there's no more 9-holes. It's a championship golf course that stretches 7,010 yards for a par 72. It's located and spread out 275 acres of land located on the national capital and also is only a few miles from the international airport it's consistently listed as a link style course and because of these wonderful pictures we were able to pull we were able to list it now on our list and we're hoping to get some good aerial footage down the road as we visit the top golf courses within this country and this being one of them now let's zoom on out because now we still have number 18 on this list there's a wonderful golf course here in India that sneaks in to our number 18. Now, it's almost arguably on the other side of the country, and it's pretty unique in itself with the river cutting almost right through the course. The course is listed as a private resort parkland style course that stretches 6,599 yards with a slope of 119 and a par 72 the course has a rating of 70.8 and it arguably could be the second oldest golf course on this list being built in 1873 india has a ton of history within golf and we're trying to bring that history to you it's open year round and was built by james winkler that's going to do it for that course that's number 18 believe it or not we still have 17 more courses to take a look at in a good 15 minutes so get a drink sit back and relax as we continue to go through these awesome golf courses zooming into the middle of the country now is an incredible private 18 hole golf course course is listed with a par 72 stretching along 7229 yards the course has a slope of 130 and a rating of 74.2 course also built in 2008 has Bermuda grass and bent grass greens the course had some major updates by Peter Henderson and Janiel Glynn in 2018 and I can tell you right off the bat these are the type of areas we are looking forward to traveling and playing clearly a Parkland style course here located just inside the city well now we still have 16 more great golf courses with the spread of public and private i will say most of these are private courses and we might even get enough feedback for a public golf course video let's zoom on in again to a course that looks to be legit called zion hills golf country this 18 hole course is a resort style 
could only be nine holes too because it's listed as a par 36 stretching 3608 yards with the slope of 138 and a rating of 36.7 course also was built in 2011 has tiffaway greens and bent grass greens and was built by famous golf architect david dale this is an incredible golf course in a rural area but for the most part has to get on our list with 200 golf courses it's hard to go through this whole list that's why we had to sneak out and do 20 golf courses total as opposed to the normal top tens so with that being said let's zoom on in to a coastland style course that should maybe be a little bit higher on this list with beachfront properties it's number 15 so far while it might only have the stats of the nine hole golf course here it was built in 2004 and is considered a link style course it's public slash open to the public if you're at the resort public slash resort it's a par 62 that stretches 3151 yards and it was also built and designed by the facility itself you can see right off the bat it could be more than nine holes there but we're going to give it number 15 on this list straight on the water and quite frankly we get another nine hole golf course on there that's okay we're not breaking into top 10 yet but we have number 14 to take a look at so now let's zoom on in to our number 14th golf course another public slash resort style course this 18 hole oasis in the city is a par 71 it's 6830 yards not too much information on another than it had some updates in 1994 by phil ryan golf architect but its long history dates back to 1922 and because of that we had to reach over and give it our number 14th spot on this list this clubhouse looks to be open to the public online but if you've played this course and we're wrong hit us down in the comment section below and we're using those comments to make updates on videos just like this one here now let's zoom on out because we still have lucky number 13. there's 13 golf courses left there's still some great ones and this is a private resort style course which means it's hard to get yourself into it and if you do it's a par 72 that stretches a staggering 7,300 yards. Its slope is 125 and the rating of this course here is a demanding 73.5. Its golf season goes from October to March and it was built in 2006. Other than it's a very walkable course, if you're looking to get a ton of exercises, you're going to need some caddies and it's well groomed and considered a top 10 golf course in most people's eyes. But on this course, it was built in 2006, slipping down to number whatever we're at now on this list 13 of golf courses. So lucky number 13 there. It looks like a good one. That means there's some great golf left in the channel. We still have not even halfway through, so let's take a look and tee one up now at number 12 there's good golf on this channel if you made it this far hit that subscribe button because we're going to head back to india on a actual trip hitting all three of these golf courses a random three let's take a look now at this demanding course that doesn't even look real when you pull it up on google maps looks to be water on each one of the holes which makes it an incredible golf course at number 12 this semi-private resort style course is a par 72 stretching a staggering 7425 yards from its back championship tees it also has a slope of 145 and a rating of 76.8 the course was built in 2012 so it's not too old with bermuda grass it's open year-round and was built by famous gawk architect jack nicholson now and we still have 12, 11 more golf courses to look at throughout the country of India. So let's put one up there at number 11 as we get closer to breaking in to our top 10. Believe it or not, this is a valley style course. And 
a lot of people have this a little bit higher on their list. With this much elevation throughout each one of the holes, it's a course that is an absolute bucket list course in regards to travel purposes. Considered to be one of the best golf courses throughout the country, this resort style parkland style course is a par 72 stretching over 7,000 at 7,087 yards. Look at those picturesque views of this golf course that would make anyone jealous to play. It has a slope of 134 and a rating of 72. The course isn't too old, being built in 2005 by David Hermanstock. Now, it's considered the Western Golf Academy of the world. And it's, look at some of these picturesque drops. I can't see this being not the best golf course in India, but it did make our top 11, which makes you wonder. Does this course need to be a little bit higher? Is number 10 as good? We're going to get right to that. Bringing you the number 10th golf course located somewhere in the middle of the country. So zooming on in, it's not as demanding as the last one, but it's still a great golf course. Another resort style course stretching a par 72 at 6,703 yards. The course has a slope of 122 and the rating is a 70.6. There's a lot to like being built in 2009 and also built by famous golf architect Phil Ryan, who's put a few golf courses so far on this list. It's considered to be one of the top resort courses within the area. It also has caddies and other amenities like a driving range to get you started through your golfing days in India. Well. Believe it or not, we've cracked into the top 10 and now we'll bring you number 9 now so far on this list of top 20 golf courses. So taking you over to the east part of the country is a unique race style almost, but a little patchy golf course with a ton of history bringing it in at number 9. Considered to be one of the more private link style courses in the area it stretches only 6,667 yards it is a par 70 and there's not too much to find with these private courses but the reason we wanted to throw it on so high it was built in 1984 not 1884 100 years off there and it's considered to be one of the most elite golf courses upon construction and that's why it snuck in to number nine so far on our list it's a little patchy and that's why you know maybe it should be a little bit higher at a number 15 or 16 but because it's a unique area we had to give it number nine well we still have eight more golf courses to take a look at Let's go over to this presidential golf club that is an absolute sneaky long course. Another private 18-hole golf course. It's a par 70, stretching only 6,148 yards. It has a slope of 120 and a rating of 70.1. Its fairways and greens are a unique type of fairway, which pushes it over the edge and not only that, it was built in 1927. Nelson and was it Hayworth built and designed part of the updates in 2009. And outside of that, it continuously gets updates because it's one of the most elite courses throughout the country. But it's not our number one, nor is it number seven. So let's take a look now at our number seventh golf course so far on this extremely long list of golf courses and unfortunately it's another private resort style course this one's listed as a woodland style and it's a par 72 at eagleton you stretch 7,000 and 100 yards from those back tees it has a slope of 132 and a rating of 75 the course isn't too old built in design in 19 98 and had some updates by the Pacific Coast design in 2015 but believe it or not it has caddies a chipping facility putting area 
Teachable Pros, and a lot of other amenities. It's kind of a unique area, and I will say it is a beautiful golf course we look forward to playing one day. But believe that, we're going to move in to number six now. Now, the next golf course on our list is considered to be a municipal course. Now, there's multiple courses here, and we'll have to give it to the municipal one, which is a par 72, stretching 6,911 yards. It's pretty sloppy, but for the most part, it gets the job done. There's some pretty cool things throughout the hole, and it makes for a picturesque backdrop. It's a par 72, stretching a 130 three for the slope and its rating is a 73.5 it's got a little bit of history being built in 1930 which is maybe even considered new when it comes to the golf in this country it's got bermuda grass fairways and was built and updated by peter thompson in 1977 and then the famous gary player in 19 2019 that brings us in now to the top five golf courses left throughout the country. So let's zoom on in to the eastern part of the country where we're going to look at an incredible tight course here. This resort is a par 70 stretching only 6,304 yards. It has a slope of 121 and a rating of 69.2 because of its long history being built in 1895 it's open year round and was built and had updates by the pacific coast design it has a lot of great golf here 18 holes of picturesque golf throughout the area now we will say this course may be a little bit high on this list but because of its opportunities and prestigious location it moved up on our list and just like that there's only four more golf courses to take a look at throughout the country so let's take a look at number four on this list it's considered to be one of the more private resort golf courses throughout the country this par 72 stretches along 7,020 yards it has a slope of 128 and the rating of this course is a 73.4 course was built in 2009 and was designed and built by the pacific coast design who's put together a few incredible golf courses on this list so far go out there and play this course you'll need caddies and other amenities just to get you started but with its picturesque backdrops it made our number fourth golf course on this list and it will be noted that this might be a course we'll get to so far on this channel we're hitting all the golf courses around the world and we're hitting them for cheap prices for those twilight rates and that's what we do here on twilight golfer and from these picturesque mountain views you can see that this is a course we'll hit pretty soon now there's still three more golf courses to take a look at with the top three throughout the country and typically we might only do a top three in a country but with this country with the amount of great golf we have to do our top 20. So without further ado, let's take a look at number three on this list. A private golf course that's no stranger to a top list golf courses. It's a par 72 and it stretches along 7,237 yards. The slope of this course is a 138 and the rating is a 75.3. Because of its extremely long history, now considered the oldest golf course so far on this list and it dates, dates back to 1829. No dates on this golf course other than its extreme long history and also had major updates in 1996 by T Peter Tomlinson. It's a pretty beautiful golf course to end us into the top two now throughout the country. And all these courses are winners and it's an opinionated list. We might not get everyone right, but we will make more videos. This is number two for the top 10 golf courses. With multiple golf courses at this location, which is considered to be private. We're going to start off with the one that is the championship golf course 
stretching 7,347 yards. The slope of this course also is a 141 with a rating of 74.8. The course is not too old, while being built and designed by famous golfer and architect Greg Norman in the year 2000. It's also open year-round with Bermuda grass greens and evergreen fairways. We've got some good picturesque views of this golf course, and hopefully we'll get on our channel and play this one pretty soon. It has a driving range, caddies, and other amenities, but again, being listed as a private facility, there's not too much information we can find. There's some beautiful bunkers and a lot of interesting stuff going on within this area, and we look forward to better LiDAR from Google Earth as we continue to update these videos periodically. Now without further ado, there's only one more golf course left on this channel. If you fast forward it to number one, here you are. There's not too much to disappoint here with our number one golf course for the country. And at this private golf facility, you can see right off the bat, we're looking at an oasis in the country. Some beautiful holes here to be played but we'll have to give it to the nine hole golf course. There's 18, I think total, maybe even more. It's hard to find information on it. But for the most part, the Arnold Palmer course is the nine hole course. We were able to pull some stats built by Arnold Palmer in 1999. It has lights uh, on all night. There's also the Gary player course built by famous golf architect, Gary player. Now it looks like you could get some packages for this golf course online and it's rating on trip advisor and other golf amenities is a 4.5 on this channel we put it at number one and it's important to note we're going to be updating these channels periodically so write down in the comment section where we got it right and where we got it wrong or if you have a list of top 20 golf courses within india we look forward to getting there and playing but you might have a better list that we could use that information to make updates to but this obviously is a nice course, so let's zoom on out and close this one out for the day. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is World Twilight Golfer. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.